morning grade threes we're going to be learning about 3d shapes this morning so in order to get around to our 3d shapes we first have to revise our 2d shape so our 2d shapes a 2d shape is a flat shape can you remember the names of these shapes first of all we have a square then we have a circle, an oval, triangle, rectangle, hexagon, octagon, and lastly, a pentagon. Can you remember where a hexagon, octagon, and pentagon get their names from? I did speak to you about it a little bit earlier on in the year. See if you can rack your brain and remember why they are called those names where they get their names from. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the basic properties of a 3D shape. You get faces, vertices and edges. The faces are the sides of the shapes. The sides of the shapes, there you will see the, the faces you get the vertices, these are the corners or the pointy bits of the shape. Then you get the edges where the two, where different faces, two faces meet. Those are called the edges. Right, here are some 3D shapes. We've got the first one up is called a cylinder. The next one is a cube, rectangular prism, triangular prism. Remember, a prism is a long 3D shape, a square-based pyramid, a sphere, and lastly, a cone. For your activity, you are going to have a look around the house and see if you can find items in your house that have got that are these 3D shapes. So for example, a cylinder, you can take a Coke can or a can of tomatoes or anything from your kitchen or your bedroom and see that it is a cylinder and then you're going to see how many faces and edges they are. You take it and you count out the faces and the edges and the vertices. So a Coke can, for instance, has got three faces, two flat faces and one curved face. It has two edges and no vertices. Then you're going to look for a rectangular prism. What can you find that could be a rectangular prism? A triangular prism, a square-based pyramid, a cube, and a cone. 